Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys a very easy, healthy dinner recipe. When people ask me like, what is my to-go like dinner recipe or dinner meal, I love to have a piece of fish, very light, uh, good protein, some extra quinoa for a filling, and with roasted vegetables. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this in this video. We're gonna start off with the veggies because those take the longest to actually um, cook. So for today I'm gonna to make roasted cauliflower, Brussels sprouts and some beets. And we're gonna to top this with some dukkah, which is like an Egyptian spice mix. After we're gonna cook some quinoa and we're gonna make a fresh cod, which is the simplest thing to make. So. Let's start cooking. We're gonna start with uh, a beet. This is actually a golden beet. You can also grab one of those red ones. Today, I have the yellow one. So we're gonna peel these. Okay, after it's peeled, we're gonna cut these in small pieces. Make sure to use like a sharp knife because they're pretty hard and try to cut the beets in equal pieces because otherwise if you have small ones and if you have big ones, they will be ready like unevenly in the oven. Try to be consistent there. And voila, beets are ready. So I have a big baking sheet here where I'm going to add the beets. And I really love to use all these like colorful, uh, colorful veggies. And I also always try to eat veggies which are in the season. So it's kind of winter right now. We have like Brussels sprouts, beets and cauliflower. The next up is cauliflower and I am just going to cut these in small pieces. I take off like a little bit of the stem, but not too much because I think you can eat those too. Okay, then we're gonna start with our third veggie, the Brussels sprouts. These are also still in season, super delicious. So what I do, I, um, I just like take off the end, which has this like weird little, weird little thingy. And then I cut them in half. And we're going to add this to the sheet as well. So the nice thing about uh, this combination of veggies is that they go in the oven for about the same time. Um, so it's really easy, you just like put them in there and you put them out and you get them out. Here we go. Looks so colorful. Now we're going to add some organic olive oil. You can be very gentle with this. We're going to add some salt. We're gonna keep the seasoning for now super simple because um, it will go in the oven for about 20 minutes. And when we take it out, we're gonna add some uh, dukkha and then it will roast like a little bit further. So for now, just some salt and some pepper. And then I like to just like mix it a little bit with my hands. And ta-da, the veggies are ready to go in the oven. Um, I'm actually gonna put them in there for like 30 minutes. I preheated the oven already before I started this video. So make sure to preheat it on like 200 Celsius or like 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, so the veggies are in the oven right now. We are gonna make the fish. So I chose cod today, it's a very like light fish. Um, you can also use like a halibut or anything, what you like. Again, I have another tray. I'm gonna put two pieces of cod on here. I definitely did not cut this perfectly, but it works. Um, we are going to use one lemon and I'm going to scrape the zest over here. Okay guys, I don't know what's going on with my lemon. I think um, these are like pretty soft and for some reason my lemon zest is not coming off. Okay, so you use lemon zest at home. I'm just gonna use uh, the lemon juice. So you put the lemon zest on top of it and you're also going to add some of the lemon juice. So honestly, a fish like this is so easy to make at home whenever you need like a quick dinner because it's really, really simple. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. 
we're going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. There we go. Then I have some fresh rosemary here. Obviously, if you don't have fresh rosemary at home, you can also use like dried ones, but I love to use like fresh ones. As you can see, I'm here in my new kitchen. This is like one of the first videos I film here. And I'm actually thinking of making a little like veggie garden up here. Um, if you guys have any inspiration ideas, then let me know. And I'm also going to add some fresh thyme. Then I'm going to take a garlic and I'm gonna mash it like this purely because it makes it easier to cut them. And I cut this in very small pieces. I add the garlic on top and I'm gonna slice two pieces of lemon and I'm going to add this too. The fish is ready to go in the oven, but I just put the veggies in there and this only needs about like, this is quite a thick one, I would say about like 13 minutes in the oven. So we're gonna wait a little bit until we're gonna put it in there. And in the meantime, I'm going to make a little cilantro sauce, which we're going to put on top of the fish when we're going to serve it. So this goes in the fridge so far. Okay, so while the fish is in the, in the fridge, we're going to make some quinoa. Uh, first we're gonna cook it and after we're gonna bake it um, to make it a little bit more crispy because I have used quinoa over the last few years and at one point I was like okay it kind of got a little bit boring so I wanted to try out some different variations and I really really enjoyed like crispy quinoa. We're going to grab one cup of quinoa and I'm going to add one and a half cup of water in here. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and I'm gonna cook this. We're gonna cook this for about like 15 minutes until it's uh, soft. Okay, I'm going to make a, a little fresh cilantro sauce. This is really, really easy and you can use like a little food processor. I got this little tool from Turkey. I don't know what the name is, but <laughs> it is very useful. So what we're gonna do, I have a little bit of leftover uh, avocado. So I would use about like half an avocado. I'm gonna add this in here. Then I'm going to add fresh cilantro. You can also do like a mixture of herbs, like fresh parsley and like fresh cilantro. And you need quite a bunch of this because we don't want to make like a guacamole. We want to make more of a cilantro sauce. We just use the uh, avocado to make it like a little bit more creamy. So maybe even like a quarter of avocado. What I often do with like leftovers is uh, I just freeze avocados and whenever I want to make like smoothie or something, it's easy, uh, easy to use. Then I'm going to use a generous amount of olive oil. I'm going to grab one garlic loaf and what I do sometimes with the last bit, I just like cut it in small pieces. Add to the bowl. I'm going to squeeze half a lime in here. I am going to add a pinch of salt and then I'm going to mix everything. If you want to make it a little bit thinner, you can also add a tiny bit of water. Mix it again. And if you want to make it a little bit spicy, you can also add some chili flakes to this, but this is really up to you if you want to spice up the fish. So the sauce is ready. You can make it a much like smoother texture if you actually make this in a food processor, um, but mine broke this week during the move. So. I use this one today and it will also help if you like cut up the cilantro um, to make it in small pieces. We're still waiting for the veggies and we're going to add some duca on this and then we're gonna put the fish in it. Okay, so the sauce is ready. I also grabbed some uh, duca 
This one is already done. Um, it's basically a mix of like nuts and uh, some spices. If you guys would like to see a recipe video on this, then let me know. I've also used this when I uh, did a pop-up restaurant in New York and I put this on top of the salad. It's really nice for salads, um, for veggies or even like fish. So I'm going to grab the fish and we are going to put this in the oven and we're going to add the tuca as well to the veggies so that cooks for like another 15 minutes. So this goes in there and we're grabbing these and I'm adding the duca on top of this. So because it has like some roasted nuts, this is going to taste really, really well. And we're gonna put on a timer for, let's say 14 minutes. In the meantime, our quinoa is all cooked. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to make this into like a crispy quinoa. What you need is a pan. We're gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of olive oil. So we're almost like kind of burning the quinoa a little bit and that makes it like really crispy and super delicious. Then we're grabbing the cooked quinoa and we're adding this to the pan. So we're going to add a couple of spices. This is cumin. We're going to add some paprika. And I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm gonna mix this. Then I'm gonna make this flat here. And this is the part where we're gonna make the quinoa a little roasted and crispy. Kind of some holes in here. And you let this cook for like a couple of minutes and then we like turn it around again and you repeat that a couple of times. So then we turn it around again. Don't do this too often because you kind of want to have that like effect where it burns, otherwise it will not get crispy. Everything is done. So I'm going to get it out of the oven. I have here the veggies and I'm going to get the fish. We can plate everything. You can even hear like how crispy the, the quinoa is. I like to little make a little bed of quinoa. Then I'm going to put the fish on top here. And I'm gonna take off some of the rosemary because it will make some space for the fresh cilantro sauce we have. I'm going to give a quick mix to the, to the sauce to um, mix the olive oil and the avocado again because it's been in the fridge for a little bit. So I'm adding the sauce on top. Then I like to kind of mix up, uh, mix up all the veggies because that's also how I <laughs> love, to eat my, love to eat my dish. I'm just going to add these around so I have a little bit left over of the duca, and I'm going to sprinkle these a little bit over the veggies to give it even like an extra taste. And our fish recipe is ready. Um, I feel this is like a super well-balanced meal because we have some protein from the white fish, we have uh, some carbs with the quinoa, and we have some fresh veggies. Um, super easy to make. The veggies are also very easy to meal prep, so when you have that meal prep, this literally takes about 20 minutes to make. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this recipe video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more of these like single recipes where I talk you guys through. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.